Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brownells with another edition of Smithbusters. And today we're taking a look at the myth that the older Smith & Wesson revolvers are better than the new Smith & Wesson revolvers. Steve, rumor has it you've had these apart a time or two. What do you think? Well, to be honest, I feel quite strongly both ways. Um, the old ones are great for collecting. They have a lot of history. They're well built, they're well finished. But for shooting, for actually hard use shooting, I'll take a new Smith & Wesson any day. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, here's an old pinned and recessed Smith. You can see there's very little gap here. There's your pin. This is the classic Smith & Wesson revolver. It's got the hammer nose on it, forged parts throughout. Very nice, very highly sought after guns. Here is a brand new Smith & Wesson. This is a 625, 45 ACP. This gun's got the MIM parts. Let's check it first. Got the MIM hammer, MIM trigger. And they get a bad rap. When MIM parts first came out, they were awful. I'll admit it. Smith & Wesson will admit it if you get them by themselves. But uh, they've come a long way, and these parts are strong and dependable. I rarely see a MIM part break. Their main strength is their strength. The alloys have gotten better, the heat treatment's gotten better, particularly on the 44 Magnums where they've installed the endurance package that keeps that cylinder from popping open with heavy loads. And in the case of this 45 ACP revolver, this will shoot rings around this target revolver with most loads, simply because any of you guys uh, and gals that know anything about Smith & Wesson 25s and 25-2s, the cylinder throats were always left oversized. Mine are right at 455, where about 80 to 90 percent of them fall. These are right at 452, where I want them. So this shoots cast, this shoots jacketed. It'll devour about anything and put them in nice tight groups. This one, I've got to cast 454 bullets just to make sure it, ca it uh, throws a decent group. Moving on down the road to this gun, Another big bore, 45 long colt, this is a 25-15. And for hunting or anything, you couldn't ask for anything more. You can put some really stout loads in this gun. Um, it'll shoot as well or better than any 25 Smith & Wesson made back in the day that was pinned, recessed, what have you. Um, all I can say is Smith is putting out great revolvers today. So when I'm in the mood to collect, I buy an old one. But when I want something I'm going to shoot a lot, I always buy a new one. Yeah, fair argument there for sure. Uh, I think that, you know, I've had some of the, the newer Smiths apart. I've done action jobs on them. I've done action jobs on some of the older Smiths. You can get the new Smiths pretty dang slick. Right. So right. there's really no big downside to that. The only thing I, I dislike about it, and I think a lot of people will agree with me, is that lock on them. That lock. Yeah. And uh, for that reason, I prefer older, um, you know, like a Model 27, the big 357 Magnum, I like the 27-2. Pinned, recessed, as strong as anything made today, it's perfect. Um, so if it, if it were a 27 I was after, I'd always go after an old one. If it's a Model 29, 404 Magnum, I want a new one, a brand new one, because I want that thing to be as strong as possible. Okay, yeah, so for collecting, older Smiths are still definitely the way to go. Right. If you're going to shoot it a lot, there's nothing wrong with having a new Smith. So you can make a good argument both ways. Yeah. And obviously I do. And that's why I have both in my gun safe. Because I like the old ones, but I also like the new ones. If you haven't tried a new Smith, try one. They are really nice. So Steve, do you consider this myth busted? I don't think so. I mean, I, it, the myth doesn't hold up either way. That makes sense. You can argue it both ways, so. Right. You guys with new Smiths, you're right. You guys with the old Smiths, you're right. Let me know if you have something nice for sale. So you're good either way. Exactly. Join us next time when we bust some more myths on another edition of Smithbusters. Busters.